it's Michelle Nesky, the Posh PA. And today I'm gonna to talk about online or hybrid PA programs. That's right, you heard me right. <laughs> now these programs are not fully online in full disclosure, and I'm gonna get into that in just a second. But if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. I'm here every week dropping new videos to help you get into PA school, become a successful student, and a fulfilled practicing PA. Okay, so what do I mean by an online or a hybrid PA program? There are a collection of newer programs that are offering master's degree in physician assistant studies or in health science or in medical science, basically you graduate with a master's degree and become a PA, um, that are in an online hybrid model. That means that the first portion of your PA education, which is typically the didactic phase where you're doing the in-classroom part, okay? So for the first 10 to 12 months, it is all classroom learning, whether you're in-person or whether you're hybrid, right? So basically, you're gonna be doing that learning in a distance learning format, AKA online, okay? So in that first 12 months, you are gonna be doing most of your coursework online. You will have a local preceptor in your area that will work with you that is usually arranged by the program or you can work with them to arrange somebody that they feel that is appropriate. And you will work with them on clinical skills and gaining that those physical exam skills and diagnostic skills that you will need during the didactic phase. And typically these programs will also have an immersion experience where you have to go to the campus two to three times during the course of the program to really have that hands-on experience with your class, okay? So even though it is online, there are going to be those touch points, those in-person points, those immersion experiences, those local clinical preceptors that you're really going to gain that knowledge from. However, it is not an in-person class environment. So it may be a little bit harder to connect with your classmates or faculty for some reason or another, but it is an option particularly for students or applicants who are locked into their location for one reason or another, and I'll get to that in a second. The second part of the program, which is clinical rotations, is pretty similar to any in-person PA program, right? So basically, you're gonna have rotations that are arranged for you in different locations, whether they be all around the state or in different counties, and you can probably work with them to arrange some of these rotations local to you so that when you are gonna graduate, you have connections to potentially get a job, you know, at one of those places. And so the whole point is to really have yourself gaining these connections, gaining a network during your clinical rotations as well. Now that happens in an in-person program too, but in a hybrid model, it is gonna be more focused on where you are currently. Now the type of applicant that typically applies to a hybrid PA program is somebody that is locked into their location for one reason or another, whether that's family obligations or financial responsibilities. They usually don't have the opportunity to be able to move wherever across the country for two years to go to an in-person PA program. So this does offer opportunity for a specific type of applicant. Now, what programs are currently in a hybrid model? The first program is Yale Online Hybrid. That is one of the first programs that came out with this model, okay? And so in looking at their matriculant data, you will see that a lot of these applicants and those who are accepted are actually in a higher, older age demographic. So the average person that gets into a traditional PA program is about 26 years old, where the average person who gets into the Yale hybrid model program is in their 30s, okay, with lots and lots of thousands of hours of experience. So you can see that these are tending to be an older demographic and people with a lot of experience, but that also have, you know, a good GPA and volunteer work and all of those other things that make you a strong applicant. So I would really think about that if you're a non-traditional applicant or a career changer that's locked into your location for one reason or another. Now, do you have to be in that demographic? No but I'm just giving you what the average statistics are. There are a couple of other programs that are newer that are coming into this model as well. University of Pittsburgh, Franklin Pierce University, Arcadia University, West Coast University, just to name a few, okay? So when you are searching hybrid online PA programs on the internet, just be careful because there are some online PA programs that are already for certified PAs, either to get their doctorate degree, 
or years ago there was a bachelor's degree and they're going to go get their master's those are for certified pas you are looking for programs where you are going to get your master's degree and go practice as a pa those programs that i just listed are the newest and most common that i am seeing at this point in time today maybe there'll be more in the future but right now that list that i gave you yale arcadia franklin pierce west coast university um, and university of pittsburgh are the ones that i know of and that are accredited by the arc pa that's the other thing you really want to be careful about you want to make sure that the program you're attending is accredited by the arc pa so that it adheres to the standards of a pa program okay and so that you can graduate and sit for the boards when you attend the program so that's just a little bit of an overview of the model of a hybrid and the typical applicant that gets accepted to a hybrid model program as well as a list of the most current ones that I know. Now, with that being said, are there pros and cons to this model? Absolutely, and you have to think about what kind of student you are, okay? If you're somebody that really wants that connection, that in-person experience to be hands-on, to be in that classroom, then a hybrid program probably isn't gonna be the best option for you. If you're somebody that is, you know, again, locked into your location or has really strong time management skills and is really good at taking online learning and you really succeed in that environment, then yeah, maybe it is the right option for you and it's something to look at. Now these programs are newer, right? So there's not a lot of data about graduates and pants pass rates and things like that. So that's also something to take into consider when thinking about these programs. But I do think they offer a good option for high quality applicants who may not be able to have the resources or for some reason not be able to move to different areas of the country to get a PA education. So really think about what you're looking for in a program and if what model you think might be best for you, depending on your applicant statistics and your personal situation. I hope this helped clarify a little bit of that for you and go out there and find a program that really fits your needs. Thank you.